Hello again, pals. What a rush today has been. What a rush. In the programme, we've got one session, just the one session from Stars of Heaven, the only band, I think, to record three sessions in one calendar year for us, which was last year, the year before, I can't remember. Anyway, amongst the records, Unseen Terror, The Chosen Two, Don Carlos, Nose Flutes, Fast Eddie Smith, The Electro Hippies, Milkshakes, Flying Cream Shots, uh, Culture, Ken Collier, Ball, uh, Pop Elite Itself, Kirk, uh, Mighty Mighty and the Bundus, amongst others, and start with the disappointments. A lot of people have been on the phone about this, and and uh, two tracks, Hint to Move and Mama Done Told Me. Those are the, uh, that's Dyke and the Blazers from an LP issued a couple of years ago called So Sharp, Funky Walk Part 2. And before that, it was the disappointments with Hint to Move and Mama Done Told Me. And I'll give you the address for that again. I've got a bloke on the phone at the moment, actually, who wanted to know what it was. So I'll give you the address again after this next record. And uh, so you can get a pencil and a piece of paper ready during this from Chin Chin. You may recall the odd track that I've played of theirs in the past, band from uh, Switzerland. And they're about to have their first British release on 53rd and 3rd. This is Cry in Vain. <laughs>
Coming shortly from 53rd and 3rd Records, that's Chin Chin from Switzerland and Cry in Vain. And uh, there was a letter, actually, that I had with the Disappointments record, but someone seems to have tidied this away, which is a pity. I like to keep these things, but uh, I can't find it. But I, I do still have the address, and somebody else who was on the Smithy phone also pointed out that there is a review of the record in the current issue of Maximum Rock and Roll. That's January's edition of Maximum Rock and Roll, and it's got the address in there, but no indication as to the price of the record. And if you want to get in touch with them, uh, because I don't imagine they've got a great deal of money, I mean, these bands tend not to, you know, um, uh, despite the kind of impressions you get from of American life, you know, they don't have a lot of money to throw about. So if you send them one of those international reply coupons, frankly, I've never fully understood how they work, but uh, I'm sure if you send them one, they'd be grateful for it, and they can write back and tell you how much the record is. So the address is uh, Post Office Box 1566... Post Office Box 1566. I'm going to take some time over this, incidentally, because it's going to save me a lot of letter writing later on. Post Office Box 1566, Muskegon, which is M-U-S-K-E-G-O-N, uh, Michigan, 49443. That's Muskegon, M-U-S-K-E-G-O-N, Michigan, Michigan, 49443. Write to them, they'll be pleased to hear from you. And somebody else who came up on the Smithy phone a couple of weeks ago, or no, actually last week I think it was, asked if I'd play another track by Sharon from the LP Disco Mastano. Well, here's another track from Sharon from the LP Disco Mastano. <laughs>
That's Sharon from the LP, uh, Disco Mastani. You may be able to recall what the original of that one was. That one's got me really puzzled, I must say. I don't remember it at all, but Huomera High High is the title that it now has, or had back in 1982 when this LP came out, on multi-tone records. I rather wish that she'd done uh, Sheena Easton's 9 to 5. That's something, I, I suppose, obviously somebody must have done it in Hindi and probably other languages as well, and I should very much care to have more versions of it. One of the great pop records of all time, my copy of it, you know, was uh, one of the records which I had stolen in uh, Amsterdam many years ago, well, a couple years ago now and I've never been able to replace it not the 45 so quite clearly a considerable collector's item it was you see and people don't part with their copies because they should have been humming like you know uh, things from I don't know Joy Division bootlegs or something but they found themselves humming nine to five I certainly did uh, I've been much impressed over the past year by the kind of single-mindedness of uh, Billy Childish and uh, his chums uh, connected with Hangman Records and Books, as they are now. And there's a couple more LPs. One of them is like uh, uh, the Billy Childish cassettes and so forth, which, as he points out himself, <laughs> takes a bit of listening to. Um, and it's not going to be everybody's favourite LP of the year, but there will be those who do want it. I've kept my copy quite clearly because uh, it is, you know, it's, it's, there's a kind of strange uh, devotion to duty there, which I rather admire. The track I'm going to play you now comes from an LP called Medway Powerhouse Volume 2. Featuring, as it says on the sleeve, 16 never-before-released tracks from the kings of the Medway Delta. This means uh, the Prisoners, the Discords, Delmonas, Auntie Vegetable, the James Taylor Quartet have a track, Timmy Tremolo, the Mighty Caesars, Wild Billy and Big Russ, the Pop Rivets and the Mind Readers, and the Milk Shakes. Now, these tracks seem to me to have been recorded direct from the radio, so uh, there may be... I'm not, anyway, I'll just play you one of them. This is uh, The Red Monkey, but first, somebody, is it Billy himself, shouts. Ooh, ooh, ah. Oh, that was absolutely great. That's live. Oh, sounds like the voice of one of our top broadcasters. That's uh, the milkshake. Those are the milkshakes from the LP Medway Powerhouse, Volume 2. And that was the Red Monkey. Now, well, the first from Stars of Heaven coming up, and uh, it's called Two O'Clock Waltz, and as I pointed out at the beginning of the programme, probably the only band to record three sessions in a year, which must have been 1986. And somebody pointed out to me the other day, actually, I've always claimed that the Fall had done more sessions than anybody else with 11, but somebody computed that Ivor Cutler had actually done 16 over the years, and I'm sure that this is not, uh, at least not wider than Mark. Stars of Heaven, though, and the Two O'Clock Waltz. <laughs> Yeah. 
of heaven in session and that's called two o'clock was has been a very very busy day today i've been on the go since the crack of dawn really and uh, doing one or two voiceovers so wandering about the streets of old london town particularly uh, down in soho and it's a curious thing like recognition you know if you've been on the television a couple of times you know people do come up to you in the street and speak to you which is on occasion is, is, is a most gratifying thing at other times it's a bit embarrassing and at one stage uh, i saw a bloke walking to more towards me and was, i thought actually i know who that bloke is but then you go into those kind of agonies of like non-recognition, you know, where you don't, in a sense, you feel not confident enough about it to actually sort of, like, smile or do anything like that. And you find yourself studying with extraordinary intensity, entirely meaningless things on walls on the other side of the street and probably getting into all kinds of little facial tics and things and waving your arms about and looking as though you were having some kind of interesting seizure. Uh, so whoever the bloke was that I passed outside the Indian restaurant this afternoon, I apologise for uh, behaving in such a bizarre fashion. He probably scampered off down a side street and has never, never been the same again. And also a couple of women that I passed in Soho, again, very friendly, and said, uh, hey, how are you doing, Ray? I'm not quite sure uh, which Ray they had in mind, but these are the Bundu boys, and I was asked to play something for all Jack Kerouac fans everywhere, uh, so this'll have to be it. <laughs> Sandiwe, 
I made the mistake of phoning the pig up while that was playing and got told off for phoning while the Bundu boys were on the radio. Uh, on Disca Freak Records, a new 12-inch, I mean new, old, you know what I mean, but new, if you see what I mean, uh, on Wakasirai Satani is the title of that. And I've made it a golden rule over the years not to play LPs that have titles in Latin. And someone will write in with a list of at least ten records with titles in Latin that I've played to death. Uh, but I made an exception in the case of an LP on Treehouse Records. They're the people who bought you the cows, you may recall, whose record I played a bit recently. Uh, the LP is called Ex Cathedra, or Cathedra, if you'd rather, and it's by something called TVBC. No idea what it means. This is not OK. <laughs> Sam Tam Benny Quam Puella Martrem, Nexe Sear Gremio Ilius Mavebat. My favourite poem, I won't make the mistake of saying. That followed me for two or three years. Uh, Ex Cathedra, the title of the LP, in the band's TVBC on Treehouse Records from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and that track's called Not OK. On the 12 inch of the current Mighty Mighty single, you get, uh, as always, an extra track or two. On Chapter 2 Records, this is Positively Sesame Street. <laughs> Yeah. 
That's Bob, and that's positively 4th Street. Before that, it was Mighty Mighty and positively Sesame Street, one of the tracks on the B-side of the 12-inch of their current single. I'm very grateful to uh, somebody who brought me this record, hearing me moaning about the fact that my current source of uh, hot new records from America had, I hope, temporarily dried up. Um, Jim, it is, who brought me this record. So thanks very much, Jim. It comes from The Chosen Two. <laughs> you choose all my beats of flock the rappers just stay at it they call me too swift because i'm as swift as a rabbit rocking like a posse but i stand this one try to beat the swift it's not easily done because i'm an mc conqueror an ultimate defender rappers try to stop me but i still won't surrender moving up fast although it sounds shocking the music might stop but i still keep rocking this is time this is time you cut it up Craig. So hype, other MC spirit. I'll throw the rhymes, you go retreat it. It gotta be seen in order to believe it. I consider myself a born talented artist. You only rock best when you work your hardest. You think I won't make it cause everyone's rapping? It's your opinion, but that won't happen. I rock the jams that vibrate your bones. Yo, ain't I deaf, Craig? Word up, home. Cause I'm just here to make a clear statement. For Institute Script, there's no replacement. Yeah, it's like that. For old Zodiac, take my word for it. I tell it to I tell you like this, I'm getting too swift. Don't use no don't smoke crack or slip. This is time. One time, Greg. It took a whole session of time and practice to bring to perfection. The beat is dope enough to keep y'all swinging. Contact my manager, my phones keep ringing. The soup is undefeated, and yo, I'm not bragging. To take me is like taking on a fire beating dragon. I'm not in effect. I rock for your convenience. You cannot compete with this lyric writing genius. And many of you never even knew I existed. You tried to resist it, but still you're twisted. From what you heard, I have immersed. Greg rocks the cuts when I give the word. He could do it like this or do it like that. However he does it, it comes out exact. So give us any day or give us any night. Give him the turntables, give me the mic. And we'll make the noise like a grenade. Cause as we get bigger, we both get paid. Cut it up, Greg. One time. Yo, Greg. 
bag, make them unique. Show all them DJs out there what real talent is, you know what I'm saying? This is real talent. Boys from Jamaica, Queens, no joke. Well, thanks again, Jim. This is the stuff, eh? I mean, not the record. People buying me records. This is what I want. The Chosen 2, and that's called This Is Talent. And back with our guests in session tonight, Stars of Heaven, Ammonia Trap. Before I play that, let me tell you that on Monday night's programme... Sorry, this is not the way I should do things, really. On Monday night's programme, The Wolfhounds, and a repeat of the extraordinary session from The Bolt from Bolt Thrower uh, on Monday night's programme. But tonight, as I say, Stars of Heaven, this is Ammonia Train. <laughs> Stars of Heaven in Session, and that's called Ammonia Train, and the band are going to be performing in England in March to coincide with the release of their new LP, Speak Slowly. I suppose the implications are of this, that they'll not be performing in Scotland 
or Wales. And they've also recorded a track for the new Steve Martin film, Planes, Trains and Automobiles. And the film is produced by John Hughes, and the track is called Wheels. And, uh, I think that, frankly, it always worries me a bit when bands start doing stuff for films. A bad sign, by and large, but we'll see, we'll see. Here come legitimate reason. And I wasn't leaving Ireland out just then, but obviously with the band uh, living in Ireland, presumably they perform there fairly frequently. Uh, this is legitimate reason, as I say. <laughs>
That's another track from the 12 LP set. I think it's 12, 10 or 12, 12. Let's settle for 12. The history of the house sound of Chicago, Candido, and that track was called Jingo. I had one or two letters about that as well. Before that, it was Legitimate Reason and Can't Go Back from a 7-inch EP on Plus Records. And this has populated itself off to foreign parts of the weekend. There's no love between us anymore. <laughs> Loves me, loves me, loves me not. 